Hello, so here is another game on 2 handicap against Anazaru70. You played this guy before, so uh, no wonder he tried to, to play a bit more aggressive this time. So here we go, this time uh, white is starting with a Hoshi. Black again is playing the Sansan. -san. It's absolutely fine to play the Komoko or another Hoshi because it keeps things simple. But nothing wrong to go Sansan. -san. So white is putting pressure. White can also think about moves like this in order to make a base one way or the other. I mean either approach that way or approach like this and extend for a base. But shoulder hit is a, a very common move. Now playing away it's a little bit uh, unusual. So no B or one space jump. This way uh, white can go for a really light formation and then approach the top right corner. Also the Josekis with the Nobi are pretty simple. We've seen this several times in the previous reviews. Black can jump either on the right or on the bottom or just leave the position as it is and attack the top left corner one way or the other because if uh, white turns like this for example black can still come out this way and if white blocks the bottom black will go on the right side but in general black will jump one way or the other so it doesn't let white decide where to go anyway uh, white playing a high approach here it's a bit strange because usually you play this kind of move when you're going to set up a moyo so to approach from the top uh, it's uh, a little bit ma makes more sense because if this happens at least white can develop in the direction of his stone so he can set up a more in the top the problem with this kind of uh, high approach is that it's give uh, it's going to give black a nice corner so also playing here if black defends let's say 016 or 017 yeah 017 is fine 016 would work too usually uh, the way of thinking goes, if white plays a Kema approach, black defends with a Kema. If white plays an Ikentobi approach, then uh, or, or Ikentobi Kakari, then black defends with an, with an Ikentobi a one space jump. If black approach is like two space uh, far, then black defends two space in the top. So it's like a, a mirror. And if uh, approach Ogema Kakari, then defend with Ogema. So this is some kind of rule of thumb. So in this case, if black simply plays a one space jump, white is supposed to attach in the corner and pull back. And when black goes down, white needs to extend for a base and black can also extend in the top. Usually this extension is made to uh, prevent the M17 approach. So overall, this result is quite nice for black, having the corner with uh, R17 and S17. That's why it's not so practical to play Q14 unless it's a special position where white can really set up a moyo. Therefore, if white plays away, he can think about uh, R14 and then slide and come back to R11. But it's not so great to uh, Tenuki after Q4 because it feels really nice for black to play Hane here uh, in order to take away Liberty. So this happened in the actual game. Who white played another approach. He's really, uh, in a way, it's, White is trying to, to speed up the Fuseki, <clears throat> but he's leaving too, too many weak points like this. So now uh, White came back to K4. Before doing that, White should attach in the corner, pull back, and then extend, but instead of K4, K3 in this case. So this formation, it's a bit better for White on the bottom side. Playing K4 right away uh, gives Black the chance to attach under and pull back and now when white connects this will result into an over concentrated formation because uh, white extension it's only two space away from the strong uh, g3 and g4 group so black would pa punish right away also black and tenuki and consider q5 this honey is very good because it removes uh, the liberty and next let's suppose uh, this will happen 
and black plays another move like p4 or maybe o4 so black will build a lot of territory in this corner compared to this turn the turn it's also a pretty solid move but this q3 can become uh, black's territory so playing the turn feels a little bit soft so that's why black should consider the honey in the ahead of this uh, white stone or above so i can play away hmm shoulder hit this looks like an ai oriented move now usually against this kind of shoulder hit black either blocks this way so when white plays a nobi black can go kema in order to secure the corner and have access to the side <clears throat> if uh, white plays a jump black has two options either wedge to create cutting points and then extend on the left side it's better to jump instead of taking one stone taking one stone would be too painful for black it's too many stones to capture one uh, so another option for black is to play the clamp and then go down like this again black has access to the left side and can even jump further to build more and there's also the option to push with c7 simply go territorial now here again white can play the nobi and black can turn then jump or white can play the one space jump to be more uh, flexible or set up a lighter shape but in this case black again can wedge to create cutting points and prevent the tiger mount and again play a one space jump to enter the left side otherwise if black plays away for example here or so white is very happy to block on the left side and have all that potential so it's good to remember uh, to to respond against the shoulder hit with a push like this or like this and in some cases black can also consider the kema this is a move that's often played by bots but anyway the meaning of all these moves playing uh, the kema or the push or the other push is to prevent white uh, blocking at c7 so if black plays away white is very happy to block here then black has to go up or down and now the corner is a little bit in danger so black needs to double up and in this case white grabs too much uh, potential on this side so this will be a pretty nice moil almost territory so let's see what happened in the actual game ah kosumi here playing this kosumi here even if black already has a stone at uh, c6 when white blocks white gets a pretty ideal shape so having two stones like this and the extension three spaces away it's generally a good formation for white so you don't want to play exchanges that give your opponent an ideal formation you want to play moves that make him feel bad about his position i mean a bit more uncomfortable so let's say uh, we push here first then white jumps and after that attach and pull back oops i meant just nobi so white has a cutting point now which he needs to protect and then the extension the k4 it's closer to his wall so k4 should be l3 or l4 to look good with his uh, stones at g3 g4 so white covered but white had to block it's better to block and then when black pushes here white can jump out then on the wedge white can uh, connect a uh, solid so go for a nice moy on the bottom and then even extend like this to expand his area so we can't really say black punish white here okay white push like that black pulls back which is good the turn is pretty big but so is the f3 block and actually the f3 block is good directly because after blocking f3 white can think about the sun sun invasion at c3 so even if uh, black plays something like this Later in the game, white can uh, use the edge of this invasion. So yeah, why should consider the block? But this is also good because the left side is quite uh, promising now. So black enters the left side, which is a good idea. And in this position, why should consider a pincer? Because now uh, the pincer works pretty well with his c7, d7 stones, so if black simply takes the corner this joseki will be very good for white uh, 
to make use of his left side uh, potential. I mean, it's obvious that White can hope for a Moyo here. So the kick, uh, Black goes up, and when this happens, White should actually protect the corner in the top left, either like this or high, and then Black has uh, space to extend for a base. In this case, Black doesn't have to go 3 space jump, because uh, White is still quite strong on the outside and can think about invasions like this. So in the end, White will, uh, uh, Black will end up over concentrated. It's safer to go just to space jump. But already, if this happens, now White stones on the left side, they just become heavy and it's uh, hard for White to use them compared to the idea of playing a pincer right away. Either like this or like this. Let's check the Joseki again. In this case, connect solid and then came out to expand the Moyo. So if black plays away, white has a follow up. Play, playing the, uh, the pincer after the kick at C15, it's a little bit uh, overplayed. So black can go with an attach and no B, then cut, go down, play an Atari as a forcing move on the outside, then honey in the head of two stones, Atari again, and then connect. So like this, black is actually punishing white by giving up two stones in the corner. Uh, white had to work hard to capture those two stones, so it's really not worth uh, the effort. And black has a very nice uh, outside influence, so when white jumps here, black extends in the top and makes that territory. If uh, white enters the top, then black can just uh, lean on the left side. So again, it's fine. And uh, black has some nice moves to, to attack the thin stones in the top. So the follow-up will be good and promising. Now, uh, playing this game, it's a little bit uh, soft because white can just play game or two. And then, well, black needs to turn the direction here and came again, or attach and cross cut. Either this way, if white captures right, right away, Atari again, then extend and just go for the outside. Now, again, it's interesting to pin the top right stone. <coughs> so, white is trying to connect under, and instead of separating, Black can just go in the top and allow the connection under. It's not such a big deal if white protects here because black uh, switched to the top side. And now white connected this line, but black also makes the moyo in the top, which feels really good. So black separates right away, but then when connecting here, the group is quite heavy and also black is forced into an empty triangle. So now white can go up or play this move threatening to connect under. If black goes down, either like this or like this, now white can defend the top. And then Hane, jump. So white gets the corner, but black's outside group, it's still a little bit floating. In the actual game, uh, white took the Keima to secure the corner, but this allows black a nice Hane to make eye shape for his group on the left. And then, if white tries to, to keep some pressure there, black will push several times. So black already got the wall and doesn't have to worry about eyes anymore. So black can just play away. Something like this is nice to, to attack the Q14 or play an approach move like Kosumi and if white uh, blocks, then take away the extension because now the two stones are simply heavy. Uh, playing this move allows white a push. So it's it's much more natural to play the Hane to give uh, to, to create some eye shape. If white plays away, let's say this happens, then black can play another move on the left side and now it's very good for eye shape and also d6 needs some help so white has to go down here. And well the game continues. It looks quite balanced actually for a two handicap. So White can push, and white should turn. Turn and connect under, because black has to go back 
and protect against the cuts. Playing like this, uh, black can push through and push again. And even if white connects under, it's a little bit painful. So already uh, the shape, how is here, Atari, Atari. Oh. So Atari again, then push, then block in center, and now connect on the outside. Yeah, this is actually fine for black. So why didn't connect under, but went for another big point. In fact, the extension in the top should be J17, locally. But white is already strong in the top left corner, so he should be worried about the weak stones on the right and make a base here instead. Now black captured the three stones, that's pretty solid and proper. So white finally protects the top right weak stone. Going down is too much. Simply pull back, black will go down and then white makes a base either tight or loose. Now when going down here, black can connect solid because next black can go R15. So white will bump to stay safe and then black can approach all the way from the right side. If white extends R11 or R10, then white immediately hane. Now if white cuts, black can capture the two stones. So the corner becomes bigger and white's group is over concentrated. Well, white can also uh, connect under, but this is painful. Crawling on the second line is generally bad. Oops. I mean like this. And then black extends from the wall. This feels good for black, because white is just making these small points on the side. Every move on the second line brings one point on the first line, so it's not such a big deal. Blocking here, white can block. Now black is supposed to go no B, and then white can extend on the side. If black plays away, white can just cut Q17 and capture the stone in center. Because if black ignores one more time, then there's a dangerous call fight here, and this is a kind of flower call for uh, white. Playing Atari here, uh, black could connect and then push, block, turn, extend, and it's all safe. But playing uh, the Atari from the other side, if black comes out, white can go down, and now white captures the three stones in the corner faster. There's a Tesuji here at S19, so when black tries to remove the liberties, it's actually one liberty short, so white takes all the corner. That's why black has to sacrifice one stone instead. So the correct Atari is from below, and then black will give up one stone and connect. And now this is already some profit for white, so white can extend. White just got stronger in the top right corner this way before extending. Well, something similar happened in the game, but in a different order. So black decided to give up the stone, connect, and then white extends. It's still a, a bit better to extend on the third line. So alternate the fourth line with the third line. If black comes inside here, white will um, cover like this. But okay, it's not a big problem to play on the four line because like this white is uh, also looking to, to build more in the center later on. This is a good extension, trying to limit the potential on the right side. And white's invasion, it's a little bit uh, too much. Normally just protect the right side like this <clears throat> or play away. Or if white is looking for a center, then just play Kema and then if black slides, protect. If black comes back and uh, protects uh, against an invasion, why can't just leave it and extend in this area? So playing here, uh, black can fight, Han is good. Then separate, also fine. Take, very good. Now this is a bit too dangerous. Also if white plays Atari, black can counter Atari, then Atari from below, then Atari again and capture everything. So it's not a call, because on this Atari, white has to play away, and then black will just capture and stay connected. So when this happened, white went down, but now Atari from the outside, very good. And next, black can play a move to surround everything. This block at S4 is no need, because anyway, if white turns S4, it's not going to build twice. So the right move for black is to surround everything with a Kema, and therefore white simply collapse. 
it's impossible to go out even if uh, white is trying moves like this to create cutting points let's say atari under first then atari up then atari again but white has only three liberties so if white comes out here all black has to do is to atari once and then capture this guy and it's impossible for white to catch any of the groups like when turning here uh, black can go out to expand liberties or play a jump or even play double atari and then turn and atari again and atari again one more atari and then eventually connect somewhere and in the end uh, the stones on the right side will die faster anyway so it's one two three four against three yeah black doesn't even need to play that anymore i mean right now he can play here and then still win the semi so black would finish the game much earlier than it happened in the actual game so this block s4 first of all it's an empty triangle something in general is good to avoid and it's also not necessary when the group can be surrounded like that i mean if white plays the turn and black blocks and white still tries to break out somehow it still doesn't work so the group will die in a few moves black can expand the liberties here a little bit and i'll just play away because it's impossible to fight any kind of semi when uh, black has an eye and white doesn't no way to approach from the inside because it's self atari so this was a big opportunity for black to to catch the group and punish white for his overplay now white ah the honey is too much why should go out with a jump and then a bamboo connection honey under it's okay cutting it's not really necessary now push again then play a kosumi threatening to cut and make some uh, light shape or connection in the center so cut push like this uh, black is going for two stones on the bottom and black should actually capture here connecting is too soft black can play n2 and this is all forced if white tries to go out black will just catch so white needs to capture the stone but black will atari and then just block or go down going down works too right away because if white pushes in the corner we have atari and then block and on this atari connect and it's three against two so uh there's a snap back here Black doesn't even need to capture yet. I mean, it can play away and only when Atari comes from the outside take these guys. <clears throat> so what happens, uh, white will connect and then black can go down here. Now, of course, white will try a desperate co-fight with a Hane and cut, but it's too early in Fuseki to, to fight a co, so black will just clean this. Like when, I don't know, some Atari here comes, just capture everything. So this is a better result for black overall than connecting. And also connecting is better to play the uh, hanging connection so it keeps uh, eye shape in the corner. White will come out and then black doesn't have to worry about playing another move in the corner, the group is alive. So push first and then jump out to attack the other group. And if white is trying something around here, in the end, uh, the corner is alive. Because black can make an eye and even if white makes an eye inside, it's going to be uh, a seki, but it's not the case. Black can steal Atari from the outside and kill everything. So black has twice in the corner. Playing like this, when white goes out, black will need another move at S2 eventually. But it doesn't have to be played right away. <clears throat> First push here and try to escape these uh, three stones in the middle. White has to no be. If white blocks, black can push and then cut and kill the bottom stones so white's option is to no be and then black should jump out in order to net the other stones uh, actually let's see if it works to play this game this one doesn't work because white has the honey and will surround everything yeah so one space jump then of course uh, white will try to escape here but it's it's still a good fight oh not so easy to escape actually hmm. 
Yeah. Why it is captured? Because on the way out, he's uh, removing his own liberties. All right, so defending the corner was a little bit slack. Well, black can still come out actually. Because if uh, white tries to catch this group, this will happen. Clamp in this case and connect under. So white dies faster inside. And if white goes down, black can cut, then catch either two stones here or the other two stones on the bottom. So again, everything collapse. So now, invasion. Hmm. It means uh, black wants to discard those three stones. And anyway, the invasion, it's not so great in this case because normally uh, black can play Kema or push in order to stay connected to the corner. So the invasion, white can separate. Uh, but black needs to protect his R8 stones. So normally, either slide like this or attach and honey in order to make some eye shape on the right side that's more urgent right now of course white can cut and capture one stone but black is happy to give up that stone and take the stone in the middle it's much better to live this way towards the center so this invasion it's not really urgent jumping out is good connect solid it's also good and go out again well, at least uh, white has a problem on the left side now. Peep isn't great. Either Hane and then Nobi threatening to cut and then protect against the Aji somehow, like taking the three stones. But black will uh, push out several times and then connect to the right side. So we can say the invasion was quite successful. Playing the peep helps uh, black because white is still in trouble. Uh, in this case, should maybe turn, because it might help to play Atari on that stone and create some eye shape. And if uh, white extends, black can jump out to be one step ahead of g8. So Kosumi. Oh, black is desperately, uh, white is trying desperately to cut the Ikentobi. That's generally a bad, a bad idea. Good to connect under. Let's see what happens if Atari from the other side. How about this follow up? And then uh, connect three stones, then push in between. And now black can catch the right group again. Well, taking three stones is fine too, but Playing here it's more interesting because it kills the entire group, this one. So yeah, black could cut one way or the other. Anyway, uh, it's not a great idea to try to separate the Aiken Toby with this kind of wedge in general. So what happened here is good for black anyway. Now clamp. Clamp is not even needed, black should simply go out. Either jump this direction or on the right. Pull back, okay. So black finally, uh, white got, sorry, white got rid of Diagi on the bottom. But instead of playing here, white should play on the right side in order to attack the, the Ponoki. So black needs to come out. Then when white jumps along, black connects, but white builds territory while attacking. So white can make all this area while black is just running out on neutral points. So jump under, then invade again. This is again a little bit risky. Uh, should just play slide to make life in sente or attach and Hane after that. Oh, in this case, it, it works to go Nobi. So Nobi, then hanging connection, and black it's alive, then jump out with this group. It's also big for black to slide in the top. Or in this case play uh, the key point and then turn and then connect. This will destroy lots of points. If white decides to disconnect all the way, 
black can come out and reduce the corner. So either way it works for black to damage the top. So another brave invasion. White is separating. Probably white should stay connected though. It's safer. Keep the base on the right side. Now this is where uh, white went down. So black jump out. This Atari is too soft, should cut, go out and turn because black has to come back and protect here. And uh, it's difficult for, well, white has this move in center, so the three stones will not escape. Then uh, white is strong enough to attack the other two stones. So white had a chance here to stay in the game. Playing Atari on the second line was a bit too small. So black went out again. Now white is peeping at the cutting point instead of cutting. Cut is still the better choice. Because black has to, to save his group. And he just uh, makes white strong in the middle. So peep, black connects. Oh, even artistic, nice. So it creates the, the squeeze very good. But this allows white the, the cut again and turn. So black should actually connect solid, white pulls back and then black will try to surround the group on the right. And it works. So white was greedy, took a stone, which was actually bait, and then black surrounds very nice the group on the right. Now the Tesuji is to play this kind of move, the tiger mount, so when white goes out black blocks, I mean cuts, and when white connects black will block. Atari here is not a problem, the wedge, Atari, connect, and then, uh oh, maybe some problems here now. Yeah, not too many liberties. Okay, so white can escape like this. My bad. So just block. Okay, this was the better choice. It feels good to play uh, O11, but it allows this RG to wedge and then cut up or down. Uh oh, in fact, this is still good for black. Black can go down. Oh, no, 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 black will get captured. Alright, so that doesn't work. It's better to block this way. Mm -hmm. But, let's see. Wedge, Atari, connect. Connect. Hard to escape, yeah. So this wedge. Oh. But in this case, why should connect? And then when black connects here, White cuts one stone, and then even if uh, white loses a few stones in the middle, he's alive. And if uh, black connects down, then white can uh, cut up. And if black tries to escape on the bottom, white can catch this stone. But white can still fight more here. It's hard for uh, black to live inside, especially that white can escape like that. So if black goes here, White will just remove the liberties faster. So white could actually stay connected, but this was the last uh, error, playing Atari to give up Punuki, because now black is super thick taking that stone, and both white groups are in danger. This one and this one. And they have no eyes, so... This was a little bit of a lucky strike by black. And now with the double hanging connection or the trumpet formation here, black it's all connected and white collapsed being completely dead inside. Congrats on the kill. It could have been better earlier, but it's still okay. Yeah, nice one.